Hey everybody, I'm back to share a tutorial on um, the wired ribbon flowers that I made the other day, as requested. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I have a piece of wired ribbon here that's about two and a quarter wide and 15 inches long. And if you cut it at that length, that's going to make a nice and fluffy flower that's about two and a half inches in circumference. Okay? Um, if you want to make the smaller one I made here, now this is still really nice and fluffy. Um, this was about, let me see, let me measure it quick. This was about an inch and a half wide. Okay? And you can cut it to 15 inches, but it's going to be a lot of bulk to work with. So I would take it down maybe to 13 um, or 14, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. And that way it's not too fluffy when you pull it together. Okay? Um, I think I'm pretty sure I did 13 inches in order to make this one that I showed you guys the other day. Okay, so let's get started. I don't have like that um, upholstery thread. <clears throat> Pardon me. That's the best thread to use because it's really nice and thick when you pull on it. It's not going to snap. Um, but I don't have that handy. I only have like my cheaper thread. So what I did was I doubled it up. And then I'm going to grab my loop here. And hopefully thread my needle <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so there we go hey that wasn't so bad and then just pull it through it's nice and even so now I have four strands on here which kind of thickened it up and made it a lot stronger for when I pull on it so let me just tie my knot at the end and we'll get started. You're basically going to do a running stitch up the center of the ribbon and then I'll show you a little trick at the end to get like this is the nice glittery part you want that to show on the top of your flower so like for this ribbon you have the nice glittery side see the pumpkins glitter and on this side which I kinda call the negative side there's no glitter so you don't really want that on the top of your flower, you want this part to show. So I'll show you how to tie it, and that way you'll be able to find your, your pretty glitter top. So a basic running stitch for people who don't really sew, you're going you're gonna to follow the center line all the way up and stitch. So you're going to come up from the bottom, and you're going to space, you're going to go about quarter of an inch to a half inch away from that and you're going to go back down. Okay, that created your first stitch. Then you're going to go a quarter of an inch to a half inch away from that space and you're going to come back up. So it's basically up and down, up and down, quarter to a half inch spaces in between. If you do them closer, you will get more, um, how do you say, like more ripples, the quarter inch, or I'm about a quarter of an inch away in length, okay? So you're going to do this all the way up. Now, I'm basically going to weave really quick because I just showed you the basic way of doing it. And incidentally, you don't have to tie a knot at the end of your ribbon, but I'm going to tell you, I do. And the reason why is because I tend to pull it, when I'm pulling on it, I end up pulling the thread right through if I don't knot it. So that's the only reason why I do it, um, but you don't have to. Okay, so let me get this running stitch done up the center. Try and stay as much in the center as you can way up and I basically just weave it but I did show you you're going down and up 
and down and up and leaving about a quarter of an inch space between your stitches to a half an inch. Okay, so then once you get to the top, this is the trick to get this really pretty glitter side to be on the top of your flower. This is the glitter side, this is the negative side. I'm going to attach, I'm going to fold up my ribbon. The glitter sides are on the inside, the negatives on the outside. Okay? Let me find my thread here. This is the thread where I started, this is the thread where my needle is, and I'm going to pull. Okay? That's all you have to do. I'm going to pull this piece closer so I don't waste any thread. And then I pretty much push down on them to tie my knot. And I usually make like two or three knots in it. Let me cut that excess off. Okay. Now it kind of looks like a ball of mess, right? But you're gonna this is the part you sewed. You're gonna turn it over and you're just gonna work your ribbon out on the bottom and on the top, and you're gonna find your center. See that center hole there? Okay, so once you kind of work your ribbon around and you get it to where you think you like it, I flip it over. Now you don't have to do this, but I do. Um, I like to finish off my flowers, top and bottom. So around this center area on the edge, I'm going to run some hot glue. And I punched out on a white piece of cardstock, a one inch circle, and I'm going to glue it onto there. And then you can flip your flower around. Now you can leave the wire in. I've done them both ways. This one doesn't have the wire in, but I have done it with the burlap where I left the wire in. And I kind of like that better because you can move around and see how I'm pinching the ends. You can pinch them any way you want then and really set your flower up to look pretty. So if I would have thought through that, I would have tried that first instead of pulling my my wire out, but it still makes a pretty flower if it's not in there. Um, so anyway, I'm just kind of move these around and I find my center where I like it and I just place my fingers over that. And I'm gonna run some glue around that circle edge and in the center and I chose um, a very vintage button the shank is still on the back and I'm gonna leave it and just hold it down kinda look at my flower and make sure it's adjusted the way I like it and for the hot glue sets there And that's it guys. That is the wired ribbon flower. I think it's nice and fluffy on the sides. And the back's finished off. So all you need to do is add your hot glue or whatever you use to that and add it to a project. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. If not, have fun creating yours. Thanks for watching.